Hi, I'm Amy Middleton, and this video is an intro to message matching. You may have heard the phrase, don't write checks with your ads that your website can't cash. And today we're going to talk about why that's so important. Um, the three main reasons we're going to go over to why you need to match your ad to your landing page. First is that if you don't, it's going to get disapproved. If your ad says click here to get a free puppy, and you take them to the landing page that doesn't say free puppies, Google's going to disapprove it. It may not launch in the first place, or it may launch and then get taken down, but either way, however long it takes, it's not a sustainable form of advertising, so you don't want to do that. Two is that it's bad user experience. Even if this were free, like organic traffic, and you had free clicks, if you're taking them to a landing page where your hook, there's a disconnect between what you're saying here and what and the experience that they're having, um, it's going to discredit their brand. It's not going to play out very well for your user or for your visitor. The, th the third reason is probably the most important for paid search, which is that you have a budget. You're paying for every time someone clicks your ad. There's really no benefit that you have to pay for someone to have that disconnected experience. or You're basically paying them to not like you and be frustrated, but it's not a good investment of funds. Um, this sounds probably very simple and basic and you think it would be, but there's actually a lot of factors that can that can affect um, how to message match. One is the landing page and who controls it. It's either you or someone else, but both of those can have their challenges in making sure you have the right landing page with the right message. Not just the landing page, but also your search query and the intent behind the query. The third thing is that if your account contains more than five keywords, you're going to want to make sure that the structure is set up um, to make message match matching more efficient. And then the fourth thing is how to use a search query report to make sure you're maximizing your message matching efficiency. So if any of those areas are something that has been a stuck point for you in the past or something you want to learn more about, be sure to watch the rest of this video series so that you can make sure that message matching isn't just a theory, but something you can actually execute and grow your business as a result of.